This is Andre with Yup, I Said It. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and do it. If you're stopping by, just like, share, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I really would. It helps the algorithm. Uh, my videos will get seen. Share them. Hit the bell notification. I mean, these all things are YouTube stuff that will help me out. All right, I'm almost monetized. I'm in a process right now, which is uh, pretty good news. Celebrate. Yay. You know, I've been working pretty hard. But look, so one of my jobs as a YouTuber that I figured out very quickly was that uh, I'm going to have to destroy the view quite often. I see a lot of other YouTubers making videos about the view, and at first I just wondered, why are they doing this? Well, one of the main reasons uh, is because Whoopi, Too Many Cookies, Goldberg, um, she's got a lot to say about politics. I don't know why, um, because the things that she's saying uh, are pretty stupid. Uh, Sonny Holson as well, uh, and the other ladies on the show follow them. Uh, and they follow their lead. But, um, you know, it's just very unfortunate that uh, these group of women cater to the black and brown audience and not the rest of America. That's all. You know, we're just uh, just old Democrat operative machine. Just just running at its best in Holly weird. Anyway. Uh, so, OK, so they want to make the case today. I want to address this. I want to do a reaction on uh, some of the things they had to say about how the justice system is actually pretty fair because Hunter Biden is uh, going through his trial as we speak on the gun possession while he was a crackhead. I mean, uh, while he was on drugs. The View loves, they absolutely love to mislead their audience. So <laughs> let's go. You know how we've been talking about retribution? How we've said there's a lot of rep he's, you know who wants to talk about retribution? Well, here's, here's a little taste of it. Hunter Biden's federal firearms trial began yesterday. Opening statements start today. He's pleaded not guilty on all charges. And First Lady Jill Biden has been in attendance both days. Now, President Biden also made a statement that he's not going to comment on a pending federal case. But as a dad, he has boundless love for his sons, confidence in him, and respect. You hear this crock of bull crap. <laughs> he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to comment on the federal. Joe Biden shouldn't say anything else, okay? Ever again, he, sh he shouldn't talk because he can't. He shouldn't comment on it. He wouldn't know what to say. It would probably incriminate everybody, literally. Um, but yet, yeah, notice how she's trying to butter it up and you know make it seem like uh, he's doing the right thing. They always try to paint Joe Biden like he's some sort of uh, you know uh, Gandhi or something like. <laughs> Your son's a crackhead. I just, I can't hold it in anymore. Like, your son is a crackhead, okay? Like, you raised children that grew up to smoke crack. Like, that's what we're talking about here. It's not just about the, let me just let him, hold on. Respect for his strength. So, when we hear you know who say that this is all set up. Why is she saying you know who? Is she talking about Voldemort or something? <laughs> From Harry Potter? <laughs> You know who. He ain't allowed to say his name. Why? Because you'd be lying. And if you say his name, you probably get sued again. <laughs> Lawsuits everywhere. By the Biden administration, they have all the power. And they're doing this to me. Yeah. You know who is you know who. <laughs> and he's saying that yeah. by this is all happening. Don't you think if he had that much power, Hunter probably wouldn't be on trial? Of course. And I, I love that. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, they love that. I know. But no, uh, Hunter Biden lied on a gun application. OK. OK. So so this is a federal crime. All right. You can't lie on a gun application. People who are on crack should never have guns. OK. They should never have a firearm ever, ever. Those are the last people you want. And, and if you look at the laptop and the pictures on the laptop, you can see why. OK, so they have conveniently left out a lot of this story here. It's not just about a gun application. All right. How about how about uh, being on uh, in the videos with underage girls smoking crack? I mean, you name it. Where is he getting the crack from? All right. Where did the cocaine from the White House? They don't want to talk about any of this stuff. They want to conveniently leave this out so that 
their viewers and, and and guys, I talk to people in the streets all the time. They don't even know any of this uh, crack or Hunter Biden. They don't watch Fox, <laughs> okay? So they they have no clue about Hunter Biden and the crack and the guns and the girls. They don't have any idea. They don't tell their people about this. You got to keep that in mind. So she's talking about a gun possession. Oh well, he had a gun. Yeah. Oh, it's much more than that. You're not going to weasel a lot of that. <laughs> no, we're going we're going to check you. If he is convicted, he will not pardon him. No. Okay, because he, no one is above the law. And the other thing that I will say is, this is an interesting case. Mm -hmm. It's a case about buying a firearm and lying on your application, mm -hmm. saying that you have never used drugs. And he was an active addict at the time. Some people argue that you're always an addict, that it's, it's, yeah. it, you live day to day. Oh, see, they feel so sorry for him, okay? He, they feel so sorry for Hunter Biden. He's a crackhead. They can have compassion for a crackhead, but they can't. Com they can't have compassion for the American people who want America to be great again. Uh, but a crackhead, he gets an easy pass. He's just an addict, guys. Remember. Jay, does right? it ask you if you've never, or just if you're currently um, an ad not, addicted to something? I'm. I, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, so, out of the cases that are investigated, um, there are 80 million Americans that have purchased firearms. Mm -hmm. Only about a thousand a year are investigated. Mm -hmm. Twelve were prosecuted. That mm -hmm. is 0.09% oh. of the cases. Less than 1% of the cases are investigated. But guess what? Hunter's mm -hmm. one of them. And I say that's how this <coughs> that's country how be. should be. Yes. Yeah, that's how okay. So when they talk about Donald Trump, because at the beginning, Whoopi, too many cookie Goldberg, she said, that uh, let me paraphrase that Trump uh, is you know he's claiming that you know justice system is unfair towards him um, and you know it's not it's actually a pretty fair justice system because of Hunter Biden being charged all of a sudden you know um, this can this can be looked at in a couple of different ways uh, they could be allowing this to happen and and that Hunter can take the fall for this because he is a crackhead after all um, or um, you know this could be. Uh, you know, like I said, I, don't, I think Hunter Biden's going to get pretty much get a slap on the wrist. OK, this is not it's just an illusion. Basically, uh, he's in Delaware. OK, first of all, uh, Trump is in New York uh, and this is a very liberal city. OK, New York's extremely liberal. I've been to Delaware and ain't nothing but Biden supporters there. <laughs> OK, I don't care what they say. I don't care if they brought the laptop in. I don't nobody care. Uh, he's not going to uh, do any hard time. I really don't believe that. I would be shocked. I'm, I'm just saying maybe he will. Maybe he won't. But uh, my guess is that he'll get off on good behavior or something because he doesn't have any charges. How about Trump? OK, uh, in one of the most liberal cities in the world, uh, he gets 34 felonies. The man ain't got no charges on a hush money. Uh, I'm sorry, smoking crack and having an illegal gun is a lot more serious, okay? He could have killed himself or hurt someone else, okay? So, uh, miss me with the nonsense here that they're trying to uh, pull over on our eyes, you know. I, this country's supposed yeah. to work. I don't have a problem with him being on, 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 uh, on trial. I, I suspect that, um, he'll get a drug diversion. Jill program. showed up. And who his, else? Um, his mother's there. His yeah. mother. Yeah. yeah. And um, the only woman who showed up at tr trial was Stormy Daniels. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I think that, you know, Biden has the support of his family. Yeah. Um, Joe Biden has responded, as you say, he's not insulting the judge or inciting threats against no. the judge's mm. family, which you know who has done. Mm -hmm. He's not attacking the criminal justice system or calling the trial rigged. It's rigged. It's all rigged. What does he, what does he have? It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, why are they protecting Joe Biden so desperately? This is the question because the whole world can see that Joe Biden is absolutely incompetent. Uh, he can't even stand up straight on stage for that long. Uh, the man is losing his mind, okay? Uh, they have videos of him uh, potentially pooping himself on stage, all right? Uh, they're saying he's the greatest man and the greatest president ever. You have to ask yourself, why on earth are they protecting Joe Biden so badly? It doesn't make any sense. This is no longer, I love this president and I love that president. No, there's, there's, a, there's something else happening here. Uh, and this is the reason why they're trying to convince the entire world that Joe Biden is so amazing. When everybody can see that he's not, okay? There's an agenda being pushed here and these women are all a part of it. There's a reason why they absolutely, not only do they not like Donald Trump, they hate Donald Trump, okay? 
one of the greatest presidents ever, but they keep on running cover for Sleepy Joe. Everybody can see this, bro. It's, 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 it, these women, they, they never know what they're talking about, but they're do, somebody's doing this purposely, okay? Something is being done here, and it makes you really think. An accordion here? What is this? <laughs> he's not blaming Republicans for bringing the charges. No. And he's not asking the Supreme Court to intervene, just like you said. Yeah. And so the discrepancy, the difference between the two cases is interesting. And by the way, I'm not going to vote for Hunter Biden as president. Yeah. <laughs> In case you were wondering. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. None of us are. Well, you actually are voting for Hunter Biden as president because his dad, Joe Biden, raised him. Okay, so like father, like son, everybody knows that. But for some reason, when it comes to Joe Biden, we're supposed to forget all the things that we've seen here. We're supposed to forget all the gaffes. We're supposed to forget all the foreign business dealings. We're supposed to forget the endless wars. We're supposed to forget the open borders. We're just supposed to forget everything. It makes no sense. It makes no sense to support this man at all. Everybody can see it. Okay? Everybody, the whole world can see what's going on here. The whole world, not just the United States, but the entire world. OK, even people who don't vote, they will never vote because they don't believe in doing it, that it makes no difference. They still they can see it. So what are these women talking about? What what what, what what's the. What's the crux of their argument here? You're voting for Hunter Biden. Yeah. Um, listen, let the facts play out. I'm not particularly interested in this case, but I think I am frustrated not. that this election. They're not interested in a case where someone's a crackhead. They have photos of him butt naked with underage girls, not women, girls, okay, with an illegal gun. Think about this, okay? This is the same show where Sonny Holston found out that her family were actual slave owners, okay? This is the same show that told us that because O.J. Simpson was called the N-word, that it should be okay for him to take out his uh, ex-wife and her uh, boyfriend, Nicole Simpson and Ron Goldman. They said that that was actually justified. It should be justified, basically. This is the same show that had Kathy Hochul, the governor of New York, having to explain to them and make excuses of why two people were able to dismember four people's bodies and still get away with it in New York, and they still walk free to this day because it wasn't bail eligible. This is the same exact show. You think they know anything about justice? You think they really care about real justice? Guys, it's all fake. Cycle. The, the media coverage feels like it's trial this, conviction this, this trial, like him walking into the courtroom. And it's like, why aren't we talking about what people care about? Their ability to afford utilities this summer, the economy, addressing border security. It just becomes this, conf this convoluted distraction that I worry is making people tune out the news and not wanting to be engaged well, politically. Saying, but I mean, it feels like, yes, but, but I feel but like it's... That's actually a pretty good point that this young lady's making here, and she rarely does that. But she's supposed to be, I believe, the conservative on the show. Yeah, why aren't people talking about the open borders, the crime, uh, those issues where people can't afford things? Why aren't people talking about that? It is be become highly politicized, but there's only one party actually doing that, the party that has no policy, uh, that has no, uh, no, no, no any incentive to fix anything that they've actually broken. So she's right right there, but we're not going to allow, probably not going to allow her to talk about that too much. Everybody in the media is responsible, including us. Because no, if it, you sit here and talk about all the accomplishments of the Biden administration, people Well, and I'm not interested in talking about the Biden. There are no accomplishments of the Biden administration for working class people. There actually are none. The country's declining right before our eyes. And these elite women who are millionaires and some billionaires uh, have no idea what it's like. They don't know. But if you take away their wealth, this would trigger a change. They would their their talking points would be totally different. Okay, take away that money, take away all that money and all that that talk show. Oh yeah, oh it'd be totally different. They'd be sitting right here next to me, I trying to figure out how to fix this. Okay, that's what it would look like. They don't want to hear anything about that. Let's politicize. Let's tell everybody because Donald Trump is sucks. Uh, he's orange, and we just uh, black people don't like him. It's not true.
and accomplishments, but what's happening in the country what I voters push care back. about? I think that sadly right now, that's what people want are the trials because we just read that article on people wanting to hate lately. Mm-hmm. The, the division of this country is not necessarily... See how they deflected that? She said, no, I actually think that people want the trials. Nobody wants any trials, okay? Nobody wants trials and persecution on anybody. We want our freedom back. We want to be able to afford things on a daily basis. Do you guys think we're making this stuff up? You think people aren't hurting right now? Yeah, it's not funny. It's not funny. And you guys are going to be the first ones to lose your shows and lose your business. Mark my words. People are tired of the nonsense. Thoughtful, reasonable, cool-headed. People are heated, they're mad, and they want points. And that's all they want. So I would argue maybe the media is somewhat following the line of what everyone seems to want to engage in. Well, I, I wonder if I everyone wants that. Oh, I don't think I, everyone. I, no, no. Really I, I feel that I feel that because of what we see in the media, that we are meant to believe that everyone everywhere is in their feelings. Yeah. And I think really everyone everywhere is just trying to get through their day. <laughs> so. Yeah. Now you, you hear that last point that Whoopi made. You hear you hear what they were talking about. Uh, people just want to get through their day. See, they better come back to reality a lot faster. They better come back to reality, or they're going to lose their shows. They will. Because the American people are tired of this division. We're tired of it. We literally just want to be able to afford things. We might want to take a vacation. Uh, We are raising family. uh, And we're tired of all the shenanigans. We're tired of what they are putting Trump through. We're sick and tired of it. People don't like it. They don't like it. Now, if Hunter Biden actually did something wrong, he should be in court. You can't lie on a gun application, smoke crack, and sleep with underage girls and have it on a laptop and get away with it. All these, uh, we, we would rather all these shows uh, go out of business, all Hollywood go out of business, rather than see a former president treated like this. You know, let me know what you guys think and how you feel about the view stand on air and how you feel about the Hunter Biden uh, trial versus the Trump trial. Who's being treated fairly? Hunter Biden better do some time. He better spend a lot of time in jail. Joe Biden shouldn't be allowed to pardon him smoking crack and lying on a gun application and who knows what else he did. I'm pretty sure that there's a long list of uh, uh, criminal offenses that Hunter Biden should be facing right now that we haven't heard about yet. But it's going to drip, drip, drop, drip, drop and come out very slowly because it'll tear Joe Biden's whole entire campaign up right now. He'll lose in the landslide. He's going to lose in the landslide anyway. You know, like, share and subscribe. Guys, hit the bell notification and I love you.